So this is Tanuja here. So I've been wanting to do this for a while, the Facebook Live thing, I mean, because I wanted to connect with you and, you know, talk to you personally, one-on-one, -on -one, as much as possible. And I kept putting it off, like, you know, uh, there was all this mental chatter that would come in my mind. What if I'm not able to figure it out? You know, what if nobody shows up live? And so, um, yeah, it was, it, it it was all about the mental chatter and um, it just like anything else I just didn't want to I think step out of my comfort zone and do this but here I am um, so you must be wondering why or what made me actually do Facebook live and there are two reasons number one is one of my friends uh, and a colleague who's a nutritionist as well Lisa Jeffs she dared me that I do this without any preparation and overthinking it. So big shout out to you, Lisa. And she does some amazing videos about mindset. And I can always share a link here uh, on what she does. So she had dared me. So that was one of the reasons. The second reason is over the weekend, which was on Saturday, I attended TEDx Stanley Park uh, event live. Uh, so there was just so many inspiring speakers and the theme of the event was all about taking action. So something that I had been avoiding doing, um, it just came in the forefront once more. So I thought that was my cue and I should do this now. And I really did want to speak to you guys about taking action because that's something I see in my practice so often that people are always contemplating about wanting to change things and do things in a different way and not taking action and it's just in their mind they're thinking yes i have to do this one day maybe i'll get to it after this is done maybe after that project is done or maybe when my kids are a bit older or after i move my house or whatever right like th there are all these questions that come to your mind so it it all comes down to mindset really and that's what i wanted to talk to you about and share some insights from the tedx event that i attended and like I said, with the, with the mental chatter, you really have to watch what you're saying because like one of the, um, the opening speakers, his name is Dan Locke and you can look him up later. Uh, he, he said, be consistent with the way you see yourself. Be consistent with the way you see yourself. Now, if you think about it, it makes sense because your image controls whether you're successful or not. So your successes or your failures are controlled by your image of yourself. So how do you think, what do you think of yourself? Who do you see yourself to be? And there was another uh, awesome quote that he gave, I think, which one of his mentors told him, and that was, hell on earth is when a man or a woman, when you meet the man or woman you could have been. So let me rephrase that. Hell on earth is meeting the man or woman you could have been. That is so profound, right? Think about it. So let me ask you this. Who do you want to be, right? What is it that you've been wanting to achieve for a while, whether it's for your health, for your lifestyle, for your mindset, for your finances, for, your, for anything that you've been wanting to achieve and you've not been able to do that? If it say comes to health, have you been wanting to change your weight? Have you been feeling sick and wanting to change that? Are you tired and you want more energy? Are you under the control of your cravings and you want to change that? What is it that you really want to change and achieve? Do you want to continue suffering from these symptoms or you want freedom from these symptoms and you want to live the life of your dreams. What is it that you, hi Kelly. Oh, I have Kelly here who's joined. So um, yeah. So ask yourself the question, who do I really want to be? That is the beginning. In six months, in three months, in two years, five years, 10 years, the time doesn't matter, right? What is it that you ultimately want for yourself? That is the most important thing. And then ask you, um, so 
how do you achieve those results? So the first question is, who do you see yourself to be? Or who do you want to be? And how do you achieve those results? And achieving results is not really a big deal. That happens. Once you figure out what you want to do, the results or the path to those results will become clear to you anyways. So let's, let's for example, take weight loss. And I'm taking, it's a very cliched example, but I'm still gonna take this because most people identify with it. So say you wanna lose weight, you wanna lose two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, again, the, uh, the number doesn't matter. You wanna lose that weight. When I have my discovery sessions with my clients um, who are interested in working with me or finding out what holistic nutrition is all about, my first question to them is, why do you want to lose the weight, right? Do you wanna feel sexy again? Do you wanna fit into your old genes? Do you wanna have more energy? Is, is the weight making you slower? And uh, is it kind of, you know, hampering your lifestyle? You're not able to do the things that you've always wanted to do. What is it about your weight that, 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 wants, that makes you to wanna change it? Once you have that why in place, then we can work towards how you can reduce your weight. And anytime you want to change things, you want to figure out the why, and then write down three steps that you want to take to be that person or to change that thing. And make those things really simple, right? It doesn't have to be complicated. It has to be really simple. And I'm big with making things simple because the moment you, you try and do something which is too high a standard for you, it becomes unachievable, you lose interest very fast. So you want to make it so simple and so believable that you can do it on a consistent basis. So going back to our example of the weight, what three steps can you take to, to start changing things around? Do you need to exercise more? Do you, or if you have been exercising, uh, you know, do you need to change the kind of exercise you're doing and you're just being lazy about not trying? Um, and I say lazy with full respect because, you know, again, going back to the mental chatter when I started um, the video here was about making things um, simple and it's all that mental chatter that we need to get rid of. We, want to, we don't want to step out of our comfort zone. So can you do things alone, right? Do you need to change your diet? Do you need to be more mindful of the things that you eat? Simple things like that. Chart out a, a three, three course action plan and, and see whether it's doable or achievable for you or not. Um, see if you can do it alone. If you need an accountability partner, do you need professional help? What is it that you need to do to achieve those goals? So, one thing is for sure that if you want to change the way things are with you, you have to change something, right? You have to take action. Otherwise, you're still the same person. You are not going to see the results that you want to see. So change will come once you decide what you want to do and you make that action plan. Write it down so it's formal, right? Whatever your goal is, hi Amita. Um, so we want to make sure that you write it down and make it real because anytime you have a goal just in your mind, it just stays there and you keep thinking, oh, I'll do it. I'll get to it one day or the other, right? Write it down on a post-it or whatever and, and place it where you can see it regularly. So it becomes real for you. And then I dare you to take action. So I started doing Facebook Live because of a dare from my colleague, and I'm daring you to take action, right? It, it, keep it simple. Again, I seem to be rambling and repeating myself, but unless you make it simple and sustainable, things are not gonna stick and you won't see results. You will be more inclined to, you know, just stop doing things. So the key is simplicity. And, um, the, the other thing you want to do also is have an accountability partner or somebody who you can bounce off your ideas. So whether it's your husband or a friend or a coach or 
um, you know, your healthcare provider, whoever it is, uh, or whatever you're trying to achieve. Based on that, make sure you have an accountability partner so that they can cheer you on, they can, um, you know, support you through your journey. I really want this for you. It is my passion. It is my mission. I want you to feel better. I refuse you to feel sick anymore. I refuse that you give responsibility of your health to somebody else, right? The doctors, the, the nutritionists, the, the fitness experts, we are all here to support you, but the responsibility, the charge of your health lies with you, nobody else. You have to decide, you have to make a decision. Nobody else can do that for you. And until that, that becomes internalized, change will not happen, right? So this is my challenge for you. Figure out, in a recap, uh, figure out what is it that you really want for yourself. Um, make an, a small little action plan, and if you can share it here with me in the comment section, or you know, drop me a message, email me. I, I'd love to hear from you and, um, and, and see what you plan for yourself. And if there's any way I can help you, support you, I'll be very happy to do that. So I hope you take on the challenge. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me anytime or put it in the, in the comment section here. I am encouraging you to step out of your comfort zone and do something that you've been wanting to do for a while. So I hope you guys are going to take action. You know I'm all about taking action and I'm encouraging you to do that. Oh, there's Lisa. Lisa's also joined. So, um, hi, Lisa. Um, Ruta, this is very inspiring. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Ruta. I, I appreciate uh, you being here. And um, yeah, um, so keep in touch, guys, and take action. Let me know what is it that you're planning to do. So take care, and I'll see you soon.